friends. There are people whom we have to meet on a daily basis. There are people whom we live with, people whom we work with, but sometimes there are a few of them with whom our sun's scars don't match. Do any of you have anyone like that with whom your sun's scars don't match? Please raise your hand. One. How many do you have? One person? Two? Now there are three ways of living life. One. Either we adjust our sanskar with their sanskar. An adjustment doesn't mean that inside we are suffering and outside we are being very nice to them and then we say, I'm adjusting, I'm adjusting, I'm adjusting. No, that's not called adjustment. Adjustment means I'm stable inside, not I'm stable only outside. So one option is that we are able to adjust our sanskar with their sanskar. Second option is we say, no, I cannot work with this person or I cannot live with this person. Third option is to be with them, work with them, live with them, but always troubled inside because of them. Three options. Either you're troubled inside, two, you move away, three, we there with them, but we are stable inside. Which is the option we mostly choose? Which is the option we mostly choose? Hanji? Aajkal ye alag baat hai that a lot of people are choosing the option to to move away. Why is the option to move away not a good option? What's wrong in moving away with, from people whom we don't? We just can't get along, so why, what's wrong in moving away? Why should we not move away? We will create a sanskar of moving away. If you see, some people create a sanskar of moving away. I don't get along with this person, away. I can't work with this person, away. I can't be in this job, away. They've created a sanskar of moving away. So please take a lot of care, never create a sanskar of moving away. Because if we create a sanskar of moving away, we are not using soul power. And if I don't use something, what will happen to it? Anything not used, what happens to it? We start losing it. Remember a time when we knew at least 20 phone numbers by heart? How many of you lived in that era who knew 20 phone numbers by heart? We knew everybody's birthdays. We knew everybody's numbers. It's a power we had. And today sometimes you ask someone, what's your number? And they'll fumble giving their own number. <laughs> Happens, right? Because now something else is doing all that work for us. You say, well, why do we remember everything? on the phone, everything on the computer. So it is. But we had a power to remember. And the more we used to use that power, the more that power would increase. So the more we used it, the more it increased. We stopped using it. We will go to our birthday to our home. And Facebook will remind us, today is so and so's birthday. Oh, achawa. So we say, thank you Facebook, you reminded me today is the birthday of so and so. So what is happening from that? Our own power is getting worse. Similarly, we had a power to adjust with each other's sanskars. We had this power. And that's why we have seen those generations where 20 people can live in the same house. We can, we have lived that period where everyone around is also like a family. And we are the generation who's seeing that shift from that to, to everyone in their room alone. 
because everyone has their own TV. So we don't even need to sit and watch the program together because you have yours, you, I have mine, or we have the computer. So when we start doing that, we stop using our power to adjust. We meet people, children, who go to hostel and then once they go to hostel and they start getting used to living alone, then they have a problem even living with their parents. So they will say, Ab mujhe akele rehne ki aadat pad gai hai. Kyunke, for the last two, three, four years, I have stopped using my power to adjust. So take lot of care, don't stop using the power. If you stop using the power, we won't even realize that we've started losing the power. And then, we've lost it so much that we are only comfortable talking to people online. Is it okay? What's wrong in just talking to people online instead of being with them, going out, spending time? What's wrong in being with people online? Is there any difference? Huh? You're missing the emotion. No personal interaction. No vibration. Now when there is no vibration, what will happen? When two people meet, okay, when two people meet, there is an energy exchange. I give happiness, I give love, and I also receive love, respect. In both the cases, when I'm giving, also I am getting, and when I am receiving, also I am getting. And in both the cases, when I am giving and receiving this power, what will happen to this battery inside? It will get charged. Because dusre ko respect dene mein bhi, meri energy badhti hai. Dusre se receive karne mein bhi, meri energy badhti hai. So in both cases, while giving and while receiving, soul power increases. But we started avoiding all this because we thought instead of receiving and giving love and respect, we felt we were giving and receiving some opposite energies. Kabhi hurt, kabhi jealousy, kabhi irritation. So when we started experiencing that, soul power started depleting. When soul power started depleting, we said, it's better to just be away from these people. And then I said, okay, away from this person, okay, away from this person, okay, away from this person. And a lot of people today love to be just on their own. Now, will soul power increase if we are just alone? Yes. Yes. Because I'm neither giving nor am I receiving. There was a time when we grew up in a family of ten people, let's say. So the giving and receiving was happening with ten people. Children were stronger, emotionally stronger. Today children are getting only from two people. Those two people are also coming home at eight o'clock in the night. So that child growing up is not getting that energy or giving that energy what we used to give to at least five and ten people in a family. So automatically emotional strength. And then those children, because we are sitting with gadgets, so our children also are growing up with gadgets. The only difference is we started using the gadgets when we were 20, 30. They are using the gadgets from? Five, six. Your son is six. But from which age are children using gadgets now? Hana? Now, sirf ek scene visualize karke dekho. We, who were used to adjusting, but reduced using it, are feeling all this depression and all the long list. Can you visualize a generation which from the age of one and two 
is going to be more with technology and less with people. Can you visualize what will be the emotional strength of this generation 20 years from today? Adjustment power? Adjustment power? So we need to go back to who we used to be. Our way of living also actually needs to go back to what it used to be. Because that way of living used to increase emotional strength. This way of living, akele, 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 is reducing emotional strength. And then that is becoming the cause of a lot of illnesses, whether in the mind or in the body. But to be able to live with different sanskars today, I only need to master the technique of being able to adjust with everybody's sanskar. So moving away will deplete soul power. Being with them and cribbing inside, what will that do to soul power? That will also deplete soul power. So the only option that will increase soul power will be to, to be with them and to adjust with them. Once we start doing that, our power to adjust will start increasing. You will be able to take guarantee on yourself, I can adjust with anybody. I can work with anybody. I can live with anybody. Why are organizations today looking at the emotional quotient of their employees? Because we may be top in our intellectual strength. Our profile would say a lot of things about us, but our profile doesn't share whether we have the power to work with people. So I may be brilliant, I may be excellent what I'm doing alone. Alone, but an organization cannot be alone. So there has to be a way by which an organization can see whether this brilliant person is brilliant with people, not just brilliant by himself. And that's why they have to start checking the emotional quotient. How do we increase our emotional quotient? Because if we do it for ourselves, automatically we will start increasing the emotional quotient of our children. How do we increase our emotional strength? Kaise padhayenge? What is emotional strength? Whom will you call? Just visualize. Whom would you call an emotionally healthy person? EQ high. Kis ke liye bolenge? Who's not getting affected by surroundings? Simple. Whom do we call a physically healthy person? Kehte nahi, bahut healthy hai. Kaun? Kisko kahenge aap ke ye bahut healthy hai? Physically healthy. Kisko kahenge? One, immunity system very high. So when immunity system is very high, doesn't get infected by pollution or infections of other people. Second, flexibility. Stiff, not healthy. Bend, healthy. Same two things apply to emotional health also. Emotionally healthy means immunity system very high. Aspas, koi bhi infection a jai. Koi bhi infection means koi bhi sanskar. But we will not consume that sanskar. And second, the power to bend. What would you call bending emotionally? How many of us have done it, bending emotionally? We all have done it, right? So what is it, when will you say this is called bending emotionally? When did I bend? You let the other person have their way. What else? Bending emotionally. Suppose you walk into this room or you go to office or to a party and you're about to go up to somebody to just say hello to them and start talking and they look at you coming there and they just turn avoid and move away. Respond. How are you going to respond? Respond. 
Yes? Follow them and say hello. How many of you are going to follow them and say hello? Raise your hand. ये जो ऐसे ऐसे वाला हाथ होता है ना ऐसे रखो कोई बात नहीं ऐसे रखो वो भी कोई बात नहीं ऐसे ऐसे कभी नहीं रखो पावर टू टेक डिसीशन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पावर डोंट डू दिस डज इन मैटर इफ यू डोंट फील लाइक फॉलोइंग दम एंड सेइंग हेलो परफेक्टली फाइन परफेक्टली फाइन बट वी हैव टू बी वेरी क्लियर बिकॉज ये जो स्टेट होती है ना ऐसे वाली दिस ऑल्सो डिप्लीट सोल पावर या इट्स लाइक स्टैंडिंग ऑन द turn like this neither going here neither going there car engine on fuel running but car not moving and this happens to us for a very long period in life sometimes main aisa karu ya aisa karu one year will pass in that one year will pass after one year you ask them so what did you decide finally did you do this no i'm still thinking about it what should i do this depletes soul power look at every karma which depletes soul power it doesn't matter if the decision turns out to be wrong doesn't matter every decision will not be 100% always right but we should not deplete our power to take decisions because aajkal hame ek aur aadat pad gayi hai hum dusron ko jaake puchte hain aapko kya lagta hai mujhe kya karna chahiye aapko kya lagta hai how can anybody else take a decision for us and the people who take decisions for us very quickly they would take years to take a decision for their own life but to the other person they'll say very quick ha ah, isme kya hai aisa kar why should we not take a decision according to what somebody else has said why should we not take a decision based on what someone else has said we have to face the result very good what else we are creating a sanskar of taking a, uh, taking other people's decision for our life what else we are not confident what else the person the person who's giving advice can be somebody very close to you family friends the advice that they will give to us will be absolutely right full of love and respect but they will give the advice based on their capacity right but the one who has to implement the advice needs to check whether i have the capacity to implement the advice if i take somebody's advice and implement it take the decision without checking whether i have the capacity i'm going to make a mistake in my karmic account Let's say somebody gives you an advice here in this campus tomorrow morning go and take five rounds of gyan sarovar it's very healthy right advice is the advice right 100% right and the one who's giving it takes five rounds every day so obviously what advice will they give us take five rounds every day it's very good for health but they don't know what is your capacity and if you start walking five rounds and you can't do it and you fall ill or something happens you know what's the first thing that we say see because of them what happened this is the life of a victim because of them i fell down we don't say i took their advice i used the decision and then i fell down we don't go through that process plant what is the first line that we will say because of them and then we actually go up to them and say because of you see what happened in my life this is a very dangerous karmic account taking advice fine we take advice we don't take decision we take advice it has to go through the process plant after that take the advice after that only sit and check with yourself whether i have the power to implement that advice third make that advice your decision not their decision and fourth then say i am doing this because i find this the right thing to do not because they told me to do it this will increase soul power
because then we will put in more than 100% of our capacity to implement that and second, whatever will be the consequence, we will be ready to take the responsibility. Whenever we take responsibility, we increase soul power. Whenever we blame someone for anything because of you, the minute we do this, I've given my power away. And when I say it's because of me, circuit complete. Circuit complete. I have the power. Doesn't matter if the decision is wrong. Doesn't matter of the consequences. I took the decision, so I will rectify it. I have the power. But if I say because of them, then victim. Victim. And victim will not be able to find a solution even if the solution is standing right there in front of them. Right there in front of them. So be very careful. One, in taking an advice, but more than that, careful in giving an advice. When you give an advice to somebody, you have just got entangled in their karmic account. And you would not even know it that they might blame you for the rest of their life for what they're going through. And that's not good energy for you. Because someone is blaming you constantly for the pain in their life because they felt it happened because of your decision. So if someone comes and asks you something, be very careful with what you say to them. One simplest is to tell them, look, you have to take this decision. They'll say, no, but still, what do you feel? So I don't know, you have to take this decision. You can imagine how many people I would be meeting who want instant answers. And they will come up with situations as big as, do you think I should live with my husband or do you think I should divorce? And they want me to give the answer. And they get very hurt if I say, I'm sorry, I cannot say anything. It's your decision. No, but what do you think? I said, I think nothing. Because this, the person is in such a vulnerable emotional state that if you just even give your one opinion, even one line, and they are because they are not in that state, they will take that one line and impulsively take a decision. So to be very careful. So I have to keep saying, no, I'm sorry, I cannot. They said, we thought, but you would help. I said, no, sorry, I have enough of my karmic accounts to handle. Cannot interfere in your karmic account. I can share with you all the gyan that you want to make your thing work. But this decision is between you two people. And I always tell them, don't even go and ask somebody else. Don't ask because you will not take the right decision if you dead too many people's opinion. Different people will give the opinion according to their sanskar. You know, sometimes two people, if they have an issue, they will be able to resolve it. But sometimes the issue gets very complicated only and only because the issue did not remain between two people. So what will happen when five more people come into the issue? What will happen when five more people come into the issue? Five more sanskars. Two sanskars were not being able to resolve the issue. And then we go and get five more. And five more energies. So be very careful. Most of the time, anything which is between two people can be resolved by those two people only. Because if everyone gives you advice also, who is going to finally implement that advice? Who is going to finally implement that advice? We two people. So might as well, we should have done that right from the beginning. So we have to be very careful that each soul means a different sanskar. So take care of how many sanskars you are getting into your issue. So the only thing that will increase soul power is to be able to adjust with different sanskars. And that will become very easy when we start looking at them 
not just as a husband, wife, brother, child, but as a soul on a very long journey. Why do we have a problem with people? Why is he like this? Why did she say like this? Why did she do this to me? Because I expected him or her to be a different way. When we expect something from people, we expect it through the filter of? Through the filter of? Our sanskars, right? Suppose I have the sanskar of reaching somewhere before time. Then automatically my expectation from other people will be that they will also come before time. Is it going to be possible? Is it going to be possible? No. But when I have a filter of coming before time, it doesn't just remain as my sanskar, I say this is the right way, coming before time. And when I say this is the right way, what do I start calling all the other ways? Wrong. The minute I say you are wrong, what's the vibration that I'm radiating to you? You are wrong. Time was 9.30, you came at 9.35. You are wrong. Are they wrong? Are they wrong? Are they wrong? Hanji? Disciplinary, yes. Are they wrong? Are they wrong? We don't know what to do. Yes or no? Are they wrong? Hanji? They should have been on time, but are they wrong? Different souls, different journeys, different sanskars. If I get into the habit of calling every sanskar which is different from mine as wrong, I am going to find a lot of people wrong. And those lot of people will not be strangers, they will be people with whom I am living at home because even they are carrying different sanskars. And when we start radiating this energy, you are wrong, what's the energy that's going to come from there? You are wrong. If I come at 9.20 and I look at the person who comes at 9.35 and I just send a thought, I don't say anything, I just send a thought, wrong, late I. You know what's going to come from there? What's going to come from there? Wrong, pehle ya ke ke. That's it. Yeah, what's looking very funny now becomes the cause of relationships going. Because it's not in these very small things, it's a habit and it will go on for every sanskar which is different from the other person. 9.20 will be right for me only because I am carrying that sanskar. We are not talking about what is universally right, universally wrong. We are saying what is right for that soul and what is right for this soul. A soul who is carrying the sanskar of coming late, suppose, it's their sanskar. Yesterday we saw when something becomes a sanskar, what happens? Who's driving the car? We saw yesterday who's driving the car? The sanskar is driving the car, which means when something becomes a sanskar, it becomes an automatic way of living for that soul. And that soul feels that this is, this is right. And when somebody feels this is right and we radiate them a vibration, you are wrong, they will radiate a vibration to us, you are wrong. Disrespect becomes the foundation of the relationship. And once disrespect and rejection, we've rejected each other, you are wrong, you are wrong, becomes the foundation of a relationship, after that how much ever effort you put on that relationship. Difference of opinion, alag baat hai. Difference of opinion hoga, lekin to believe you are wrong, becomes the foundation of disrespect. Let's change the thought, because we've seen yesterday, sankalp se, Siddhi hai. So somebody is carrying a sanskar which is different from me, what's the thought I should create for them? 
what's the thought I should create for them? And this different could be your children. How many of you have children who have identical sanskars like you? Identical sanskars like you, all? No. So, only one folder is coming from you, remember, out of the five? <laughs> Always remember the five folders, it will become easy to understand people. It becomes very easy to understand people. Oh, this sanskar has come from that folder, okay. The whole relationship becomes very easy when we shift from rejection, disrespect, to shifting to acceptance and respect. When will I reject you and when will I accept you? I reject you when I create a thought, wrong, galat. And for sort of wrong, galat nahi, bure. Kitne bure log hai. Now this is very powerful energy going to them. And upar se I am speaking very nicely to them. Main baat meetha baat kar rahe hoon. And then I say, Mainne sab kuch itna achha kiya, Phir bhi they are not happy with me. Because I thought that all that I am thinking about them, they don't come to know. They come to know only how I am talking about them and how I am behaving with them. Relationships are not based on how we are talking and behaving. If you see in today's time, we are making more efforts on making relationships work outside. Can you see how much we are trying to do for each other and for people compared to what we used to do 20 years back? Can you see how much effort people are doing today? Buying a gift, wrapping the gift, a dinner elaborate, everything has become so elaborate outside. And So, look at the person and don't look at them as husband, wife, children, but just look at them. Just do it right now. Soul on a long journey. I am only seeing them in this costume. Before this, another costume. Before that, another costume. How old are you? 35. Everyone shout out your age. How old are you? I am waiting for at least one soul to give the right answer. Ah, please, soul, I am a soul. Thirty-five is the age of? Thirty-five is the age of my costume. Like some age of this costume and another age of this costume, how old am I? We don't know, thousands, thousands. So see, thirty-five in this costume, before that hundred in another costume, before that hundred in another costume and another costume and another costume and another costume. And another costume. In every costume, Different family, different surroundings, different situations, different experiences, different recording on the soul. Hundred, 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 hundred. In every hundred years, recording, 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 recording. Two, three thousand, five thousand years, recording, recording, recording. A CD with so many songs. And suddenly they are there before us and we say, my husband should be like this. It's not fair. It's not fair. Now don't look at them as just husband, wife, mother-in-law, but just look at them, a soul who's been on a journey of thousands of years. And I don't know what all they must have gone through in these thousands of years. What all experiences, so many sanskars they are carrying. So it's two CDs with different recordings of many lifetimes. And now one day these two CDs got married. Can you see what happens? And those two CDs have probably hardly got one or two songs which are similar. 
remaining thousands of songs are completely different and they are going to live together for the next hundred years. So what option do they have? Listen to each other's songs. Complete the sentence, listen to each other's songs and enjoy the music. Listen to kari rahe hain. <laughs> Listen to aap kari rahe hain. Lekin agar hum music ko accept nahi karte, there begins another journey of wanting to copy our songs onto their CD. You become like me because my sanskar is right. And when we start doing that, then they start saying, better than that, why don't you copy my song onto your CD? Even then our house will become peaceful. One of them has to agree to copy the other song. Either you copy mine or I copy yours. We don't agree to copy theirs, but we say you copy mine. Conflict. Now, one or two years, three years are passing, trying to check each other's songs. Third CD comes into their house. Right? And we all thought that it's going to be a blank CD. And nine months, we dream of all the songs that we will record on that blank CD. And how many of you all received a blank CD? No. Because that CD is also coming from thousands and thousands of years. Just two, three songs will get copied because of our vibrations on that CD. So that one folder of parental sanskar. So we are all these CDs, souls with long journeys, lot of experiences living together in one house. You see, one house. Now, if we reject each other's sanskars, we are going to have very heavy energy. But compassion and empathy means I understand that somewhere on the journey, this soul has carried this sanskar. It could be a sanskar of criticizing. It could be a sanskar of doubting people. You know, sometimes you can have a couple in which one soul trusts everybody very easily and the other soul finds it very difficult to trust. Now what is right, doubt or trust, which one is right? Which one is right? Doubt or trust, which one is right? Both are right. Chalo. In half an hour you have shifted from one is wrong to both are right. This is an achievement. This is the first step of compassion. We are not saying that doubt is right, but right now doubt is right for that soul. Which means that's the filter. They can see every situation only through that sanskar. They just are not able to trust. So their own doubt is already troubling them. Right? Doubt troubles people. Jealousy troubles people. Insecurity troubles people. It's more suffering than even any chronic illness of the body. Now, I carry that sanskar and I automatically feel like that in a situation or person. So already my soul power is, already my soul power is depleted. Then, People around me, my family, they all say, I am wrong. Kya ho jayega? Jab itni negative energy aas paas se bhi milegi, to kya ho jayega? To or deplete ho jayega. Jab ye or deplete ho jayega, what will happen to that existing sanskar? Ye or pakka ho jayega. And that's why, instead of empowering each other, instead of helping each other to change sanskars, we actually become instruments of depleting each other and we become instrument of reaffirming their existing sanskar. Now, someone is carrying a sanskar which is different from you, empower that person instead of depleting them. Kya thought create karenge? It could be a sanskar of jealousy, it could be a sanskar of criticism, it could be a sanskar of domination, it could be a sanskar of manipulation, it could be a sanskar of doubt, it could be a sanskar of telling lies. What do we do? Kya karenge? What thought can we create which empowers them, doesn't deplete them? Kya karenge? 
फर्स्ट थॉट मैंने अभी 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 मैंने झूठ बोला एंड मैं बहुत झूठ बोलती हूँ सो आई एम कैरिंग द संस्कार ऑफ डिसऑनेस्टी ओके एंड अभी मैंने आपको झूठ बोला तो विच मीन्स अभी ही मेरी सोल पावर क्या है लो है ओके ह्योर आई एम आई कुड बी योर कलीग आई कुड बी योर फैमिली मेम्बर हु हैज़ दिस संस्कार विच इज़ डिप्लीटिंग सोल पावर एंड ह्योर यू आर इम्पावर मे क्या करेंगे empower me just yesterday we were talking what is the leader supposed to do empower people i am your team member i have this sanskar you are the leader or you are a colleague empower me because if you don't empower me you are automatically depleting me han ji aap hamesha sach bolte ho आप कर लोगे ये थॉट उस टाइम यू फॉर्गॉट द टेक्निक एस्टेस माय वन फोल्डर हैज अ झूठ बोलने का संस्कार बट माय वन फोल्डर हैज अ प्योरिटी एंड पावर का संस्कार डिपेंडिंग ऑन विच थॉट यू सेंड टू मी यू विल हैव द पावर टू ओपन द फाइल ऑन माय सीडी। चलो send a thought <coughs> simple you are a pure soul idhar se nahi bolna this has to all happen from here always remember this is a communication skill which nobody is going to teach you in your company but communication actually happens from here कम्युनिकेशन वेरी लिटल हैपन्स फ्रॉम हेयर जो यहाँ से हम करते हैं ना वो सिर्फ यहाँ से सुनते हैं और जो हम यहाँ से करते हैं ना वो उसको अब्जॉर्ब कर लेते हैं सो इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू सेंड अ मैसेज टू समबडी जस्ट सेंड इट फ्रॉम हेयर एंड यू विल वॉच एंड वेरी सुन सी दैट दे विल स्टार्ट रेस्पॉन्डिंग टू योर मैसेज but only take care that you don't send two conflicting messages from here send only one message from here you are a powerful soul you are an honest soul you are a wise soul you are a pure soul agar hum ye thought nahi create karte unaware what are the thoughts we create ye jhoot bolta hai jab dekho jhoot hi bolta hai isko to jhoot ke alawa aur kuch aata hi nahi hai ye to badal sakta hi nahi hai tathastu आर पावर्स आर थॉट्स डोंट क्रिएट जस्ट आर डेस्टिनी द इन्फ्लुएंस अदर पीपल्स डेस्टिनी तो ध्यान से सोचना है जब हम देवी देवताओं की बातें सुनते हैं तो उसमें दो बातें आती हैं वन इज ब्लेसिंग विच बिकम्स अ रियलिटी एंड द अदर इज वो कहते हैं ना ब्लेसिंग दिया तथास्तु हो गया एंड द अदर थिंग इज a shrap a shrap is a negative thought a blessing is a pure thought to wo blessing ya shrap sirf devi devta hai nahi hum sara din hum sab de rahe hain ek dusre ko hum sab de rahe hain ye to aisa hi hai ye to badlega hi nahi isse to hone hi nahi wala hai isko to bolo hi mat ye to kabhi kar hi nahi sakta hai itne acche acche wale dete hain देते हैं कि नहीं देते हैं अब अगर ये सब वर्क करता है इसका ऑपोजिट भी तो वर्क करेगा करेगा या नहीं करेगा वन वी कम फर्स्ट टाइम टू द ब्रह्मा कुमारीज विद ऑल आर नेगेटिव संस्कार्स एंड द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी हेयर व्हेन वी कम हेयर द फर्स्ट डे फर्स्ट मॉर्निंग लेसन इज यू आर अ डिवाइन सो एम लाइक वेयर इज द डिविनिटी देर इज नो ट्रेस ऑफ इट एट ऑल नो बट God says you are a divine soul you are a pure soul you are a powerful soul you and bol bol ke bol bol ke bol bol ke hame us taraf shift karana shuru kar deta hai what you are experiencing already in just two days but kya hum same cheez auron ke sath bhi kar sakte hain fir kya hum same cheez apne bachon ke sath bhi kar sakte hain fir 
कर सकते हैं क्या हम सेम चीज़ अपनी टीम के साथ भी कर सकते हैं फिर सो डू द सेम थिंग जो संस्कार अभी दिख रहा है डोंट क्रिएट अ थाट ऑफ दैट बट क्रिएट अ थाट वॉट यू वॉन्ट दे शुड बी and start watching miracles happening in your life and people around you and when i first create a thought like that for the other person who's the first one who got protected and benefited suppose i have to work with 10 people today 10 members of the team 10 members will carry different sanskars i will find something in her which is not right i will find something in him which is not right and if i keep looking at these sanskars weaknesses i will start absorbing that energy you know when you wear a white color dress you have to take a lot of care of the dress the whole day wearing a blue black is very easy in life kahin bhi baitho kuch bhi karo nothing matters white pehna agar ek bar to even to sit somewhere you have to first see if that place is clean why If this chair is not clean and I sit on that chair then after that the dirt does not belong to the chair anymore it will become a part of me when we look at the pictures of the devi devtas the divine souls what's the circle behind aura what color what color white what's the color of the circle behind you No. Why black? Why do you feel it's black? It you cannot see that's okay, but what do you think is the color behind you? On what basis is the color? The color is based on who I am here inside. My every thought process creates an energy field. My energy field walks with me everywhere. my energy field is my first source of communication to other people it's not about what people hear from you it's about what people feel with you and the feeling is based on that energy field the feeling is not based on my thought for you just now what i speak to you just now my energy field is based on my 24 by 7 thought process what's the color behind you वैसे भी पिछले दो दिन में कलर बदला हुआ है यस बिकॉज यू आर लिस्निंग वॉचिंग रीडिंग सात्विक यू आर ईटिंग ड्रिंकिंग सात्विक यू आर इन अ वाइब्रेशन विच इज सात्विक तो अपनी एनर्जी फील्ड भी क्या हो जाएगी सात्विक सो द होल प्रोसेस एंड द रीजन टू कम फॉर थ्री डेज टू आबू इज फॉर चेंजिंग द कलर ऑफ द एनर्जी फील्ड but now begins the journey from tomorrow now begins the journey from tomorrow we are satyogi souls so satyogi souls means what's the color of the circle white now what will happen just visualize yourself you leave your house in the morning with a white circle okay and then i meet her and i say ye aisa kyu hai ye aisa kyu karte hain aisa now i am focusing on the dirt in their energy field but when my energy tunes to the dirt in their energy field now that dirt is no more in their energy field i have made it into part of my energy field after 10 minutes i meet her after half an hour i meet her then while driving back home stuck in the traffic jam i criticize other people's way of driving then while listening to the news i criticize other people about whom i hear on the news so do you know how much we absorb and come home in the evening to sham tak pahunchte pahunchte wo white circle kya ho jayega and fir jaane ke baad we are not doing anything to change the gray to white so then over a period of time my circle starts shifting to dark now tell what do we have to do so that when i leave in the morning with white i should come home in the evening with white kya kare i leave in the morning with a white circle which means i leave in the morning with a white dress and i come home in the morning with the white dress sorry come home in the evening with the white dress no stains 
نو داغ بالکل صاف کیا کرنا ہے ہاں تو جب لوگوں سے اب ملنا ہے آپ نے آپ کل کہہ رہے تھے دیٹ بیکاز آف دا پیپل ہو آئی انٹریکٹ ود ایوری ڈے آئی ہیو اسٹارٹیڈ بیکمنگ لائک دیم وچ مینس واٹ ڈیڈ وی اسٹارٹ ڈوئنگ وی ہیو اسٹارٹیڈ ابزارونگ دیر اینرجی فیلڈ دیٹس ناٹ ویری ہیلدی فار اس بیکاز جب ہم نے دوسرے کی چیزیں وچ آر ناٹ دا رائٹ اینرجیز وہ ابزارب کرنی شروع کر دی تو ہماری اپنی انرجی فیلڈ کیا ہونے لگ گئی ڈائلیوٹ ہو جائے گی ورک تو ہمیں پھر بھی کرنا ہے so we are not moving away from people now what should we do so that we leave in the morning with the white energy field we come home in the evening with the white energy field see what was good in them when i see the weakness in you i absorb the weakness from you when i see the good in you what will happen i will absorb the good when i see a weakness in you I immediately create a thought, soul has carried this sanskar from somewhere else. Okay. The minute I start thinking about your sanskar, then it becomes a part of my energy field. And acceptance means, I see that this sanskar is there, but I do not start thinking and getting disturbed about your sanskar. Right? This flower is here. ابھی تو اٹس اونلی ہیور بٹ اف آئی اسٹارٹ تھنکنگ اباؤٹ دس یہ کیا رکھا ہے یہ کیوں رکھا ہے یہ ایسے کیسے رکھا ہے یہ کون سے رنگ کا رکھا ہے ناؤ دا فلاور از ناٹ دیر ناؤ دا فلاور از ناٹ دیر ناؤ ویئر از دا فلاور ناؤ اٹس ہیور ناؤ یو سی آئی ہیو جسٹ ابزارب دس اینرجی فیلڈ سو ایکسیپٹنس مینس یہ ایسے رکھا ہے نہیں صحیح لگتا گیو این انسٹرکشن ٹو ہیو اٹ چینجڈ پھر بھی وہ نہیں کرتے سیکنڈ ڈائریکشن پھر بھی نہیں کرتے ڈسپلنری ایکشن فورتھ اسٹیج وی سوری آپ یہاں کام نہیں کر پاتے ایون دو یو آر اے ونڈر فل سول لیکن دوسروں کی کمزوریوں کو اپنے چت پر اگر رکھا تو شام تک اپنے انرجی فیلڈ کیا ہو جائے گی دس از کالڈ ڈیٹیچمنٹ This is detachment and detachment means we will not absorb the weaknesses of people or situations and deplete ourselves. Kar sakte hai, working with people? Can you look at those people whom you are going to work with tomorrow and day after onwards, being with them, working with them, living with them, but not thinking of their sanskar here. I can sit from here and 24 by 7 I can say you are like this, you are like this, you are like this, you are, I can only do that much. So how much is my power? How much is my power? I can only keep criticizing you, insulting you, shouting at you. What is your power? What is your power? Immediately create a thought for me. This soul is in so much pain to talk only negativity throughout the day. They must be so disturbed inside to behave like this. This soul must have gone through a lot in some lifetime because of what they are so bitter. But originally, loveful soul. That's it. You've started healing me. Only two things can happen. Either you absorb my negativity or you will send me your purity. So the minute you are not absorbing mine, you are radiating me yours. Why are we becoming negative in the presence of negative people? Why can they not become pure in our presence? Why can't it happen? Why can't it happen? If we leave the white circle in the morning, instead of we coming home grey, Why is it not possible that they left home in the morning grey and they went back in the evening white after meeting us? Ho sakta hai, nahi ho sakta. Ho sakta hai, nahi ho sakta. Ho sakta hai. For that only take care. Don't absorb my energy by 
अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई एम नॉट क्रिटिसाइजिंग यू आपको हर्ट क्यों होगा हमें हर्ट क्यों होता है दे क्रिटिसाइज मी दे इंसल्टेड मी आई एम नॉट क्रिटिसाइजिंग यू आई एम नॉट इंसल्टिंग यू इट्स अ सॉन्ग ऑन माई सी डी विच इज प्लेइंग इट्स नॉट अबाउट यू हर्ट कब क्रिएट होता है दे डिड दिस टू मी नो एंड कंपैशन कब होता है दिस सोल हैज द संस्कार ऑफ क्रिटिसाइजिंग कैन यू डू दैट कैन यू इमेजिन कि जो बार बार ऐसे बोलते हैं वो अंदर कितने दर्द में होंगे कैन यू इवन इमेजिन ऑफ योर एक्सप्लेनेशन विल ओनली वर्क इफ बिफोर दैट यू हैव सेंट मी वेरी प्योर एंड पॉजिटिव थॉट्स आई एम ऑलरेडी सेंडिंग नेगेटिव you also get hurt and send negative and after having all that negative energy exchange we say come let's sit and talk <laughs> you see what will happen that conversation will lead to probably a little more negativity it will because we've already created a foundation which is not pure now i am criticizing you you create compassion because now you're not looking at me as a relationship look at me as a soul on a journey who's probably gone through you don't even know what you don't even know what i've gone through on my journey why do people go and get past life regression done i want to know what i did i want to know what was my connection with these people and when they come to know what it was they say acha then to they are behaving like that is okay with me but we don't need to go and get that done it's like a way of rewinding and saying okay what did what happened 50 years back we don't need to know it we just need to understand two basic spiritual principles only two things which will solve every problem of life and those two things are this is a sanskar that soul is carrying because of something in some lifetime one understanding and second what is happening between the two of us right now is a carry forward of a past karmic account nobody can throw any energy at you unless there was something that had happened before good or bad in both cases there was a previous karma and this is a consequence to that karma now you have the choice from where you are going to take it from today no we are reaching the end of the cycle when we are reaching the end of the cycle it's like the last episode of a long serial so new stories don't start in the last episode but all the stories which were going on in the previous 500 episodes if you ever see the last episode of a serial you will say what is this happening i'm not understanding anything the other person sitting next to you will say let it be you did not even see the first 499 so how will you understand this story spirituality just explains to us the story of the first 499 episodes that yes everything that's happening with you today everyone who's coming into your life today is not a story of this episode but is a continuation of the story of the earlier 500 episodes today you have a choice where to take the story from here so even if i'm getting negative energy when i use spiritual power and gyan i return it with a positive energy and when i do that what have i done to the karmic account what have i done to the karmic account is it possible for you to think positive pure good blessings for someone who's not being nice to you can you do that can you do that and to do that what will be the thoughts inside first why are they behaving like this because the mind will ask all this why are they doing this to me first answer so the soul has carried some pain one so the mind will say okay they are not well one second but why are they doing this to me like that answer my past karmic account second 
question stop solution what am i supposed to do now now i should be who i am i should not become a copy of who they are the only reason why relationships scatter we give people return what they give us jo hamare sath acha hum unke sath acche jo hamare sath thode nahi hum bhi unke sath which does not mean ke kisi ne mujhe gussa kiya to maine bhi gussa kiya but it only means kisi ne mujhe gussa kiya to maine hurt create kar diya to dono hi negative hai na sirf gussa negative nahi hai hurt bhi negative hai but agar kisi ne gussa kiya and i have compassion and empathy and i say soul is in so much pain inside the soul is in so much pain inside you will stop absorbing that pain because then you will shift from absorbing energy to transforming their energy only three things can happen with energy either you absorb people's energy two you reflect people's energy back to them three transform people's energy kya banna hai kal yug mein because baaki dono options bahut dangerous hai kal yug mein jana hai kal se you ready na satyogi soul satyogi soul going back to kal yug to create satyog so people will throw at you kal yugi sanskars the only care to be taken is you behave your way i'll behave my way you still behave your way i'll behave my way you continue behaving your way i will continue behaving my way the world will change your relationships will change only one person is needed to change a relationship two people are not needed two people are not needed only one person is needed to think right rakhi if i send you a negative and you send me a negative and then i send you a negative and then you send me a negative what's happening to the relationship it's only getting more and more vicious now i send you a negative you say compassion see positive also we have to be very clear what is a positive thought compassion kitne dard mein hai is tarah se behave kar rahe hai i understand ye aatma andar se bahut disturbed hai this is love this is healing energy this is a thought which a doctor creates when a patient comes to them a doctor doesn't say ye patient chilla kyu raha hai mere upar kyunki wo doctor pe nahi chilla raha hai wo kis se chilla raha hai wo dard se chilla raha hai same emotionally also log hum pe nahi kar rahe kuch pe लोग अपने दर्द में कर रहे हैं डू यू नो जेलेसी कैन बी सच अ बिग पेन इन साइड द माइंड इन सिक्योरिटी कैन मेक पीपल डू अडिक्शन इज नॉट ओनली अल्कोहल स्मोकिंग एंड ड्रग्स डीप अडिक्शन विच कैन मेक पीपल डू द मोस्ट स्ट्रेंज थिंग्स एंड देन यू विल सी ये ऐसा कैसे कर सकते हैं दे आर इन पेन इन साइड have compassion please never radiate pain to somebody who is in pain very deep karma and when we start radiating pain to them what have we done to our frequencies we come on the same frequency suppose i am in pain where is my frequency here here right if you want to remain safe where should your frequency be up even if you come here mind will start influencing you तो बचना है प्रोटेक्टेड रखना है एक ही तरीका है कोई आपके लिए जितना गलत सोचता है ना आप उसके लिए आप उसके लिए कई गुना ज़्यादा अच्छा सोचो आपको लगता है कुछ बदलेगा कुछ बदलेगा कुछ बदलेगा इट्स वेरी सिंपल इट्स वेरी सिंपल एक ट्यूनिंग फोर्क को ऐसे दबाओ दैट ट्यूनिंग फोर्क इज वाइब्रेटिंग ब्रिंग अनदर ट्यूनिंग फोर्क नेक्स्ट टू दैट वॉट विल हैपन टू द सेकेंड ट्यूनिंग फोर्क इट विल स्टार्ट वाइब्रेटिंग जस्ट बी दैट वन ट्यूनिंग फोर्क विच कैन चेंज अदर पीपल 
And that's why the Brahma Kumaris, we have a very beautiful slogan, when I change, the world changes. Kal Yug mein equation ulta ho gaya hai. When the world changes, then I will be happy. And that equation is making Kal Yug more and more Kal Yug. And Satyuk ka equation is, when I change, my world will change. So only go back with this. If someone is at a very low frequency, please don't come close to their frequency. And close to their frequency doesn't mean if someone is jealous of me, I am also jealous of them. No. But if someone is jealous of me and I get upset because of them, I get hurt because of what they said, then my frequency has also come low. And when my frequency comes low, we both will get connected and we will exchange a lot of negative energy. And very soon there will be not much difference left between them and me. And that's how Kalyu gets created. So we have come to Abu to take our frequency here. Tomorrow we are going back into the world where the frequency is here. Now, what should I do so that I keep my frequency here from tomorrow onwards for the rest of my life and I only go here, I don't go here. Kya kare? Because wo karna hai ki nahi karna? Ye karna na? Aise to fayda nahi hai. Ki Tuesday ke baad aisa, Wednesday tak aisa. Thursday tak aisa aur Friday ko bolein chhod ya wo to abu mein hi ho sakta ye sab hai thode hoga next year I'll go again next year tak I'll be here no that's not why we came here for three days that's what I asked you on the first day are we here for three days of a beautiful experience or are we here to change ourselves for the so what do I do so that I remain like this from tomorrow onwards kya karenge Simple, simple lifestyle changes to be like this from tomorrow onwards, always and only to go higher, never to move down. Because now it will be a journey upwards. So we are going to be in the opposite direction of the world. You know when you go down this hill, some cars are coming down, some cars are going up. Don't take a U-turn just because you see that most of the cars are going down. And you feel like, I am not going to go to the wrong way, I am not going to go to the wrong way. This is what happens. Everyone is doing like this. Everyone is doing like this. Everyone is doing like this. I will also become like that. And then we take. So we are not taking a U-turn. You will find most of the cars going down. You may be the only person in your organization going like this. Your journey may be slow. They go down very fast. Don't change your direction to theirs. Kya karenge? Frequency ko high rakhne ke liye. Once you go back from here, you start getting connected to the center which is closest to you. Jaisi yaha ek energy field hai, aise ek energy field center pe bhi hai. Okay? If every day we take out at least half an hour, 45 minutes to go to a high frequency place. Right? So every day high frequency place mein jane se hamari frequency bhi kya rahege? Hai. Same gyan, we can sit, listen at home. We can get gyan at home, we cannot get the vibration at home. And that's why we have centers everywhere within five kilometers in every city. Because that's the reason. It's not that there's one center and once in a while you can come there for gyan. No. Come every day for the vibration. Because remaining 23 hours we are going to live in a collective vibration of the world which is uska asar hum par nahi hona chahiye to hume roz apni vibration ko kya karna padega upar day by day dunya ka vibration thoda sa neche hota ja raha hai and isi liye hum par asar zada hota ja raha hai so to protect ourself in that vibration at least an hour or half an hour every day of how many of you have been to the center which is near your place all of you have been Every center has a meditation room. Yes, every center has a meditation room. When you go back tomorrow and you go to the center the next time, you see one is the vibration of your house. Check that. Then you see the vibration of your office. 
check that then go to the center and see the vibration of the center then go to the meditation room in the center and check the vibration of that meditation room charo alag honge charo alag honge ghar ki vibration kya hai what is in the house vibration what is it yeah so what's the vibration what do you think is in the air in the house the energy field it will have love it will have respect but it will also have some hurt it will also have some stress it will also have something which is going on in people's minds now come to the office what's the vibration of the office office is stress competition jealousy targets crisis chaos about 10 hours a day we are spending in that vibration what's the vibration in the center what's the vibration in the center gyan seva dena what's the vibration in the office lena chinana see the different frequencies ye ekdam different hai so we go to the center it's gyan it's seva it's purity it's peace what's the vibration in the meditation room meditation room mein nobody talks about anything सेंटर पे तो फिर भी वी आर टॉकिंग ये करना है ये करना है मेडिटेशन रूम इज ओनली मेडिटेशन सो इवन विद इन द सेंटर दैट वन रूम विल हैव अ डिफरेंट वाइब्रेशन यू नो इफ यू जस्ट गो एंड सिट इन दैट मेडिटेशन रूम फॉर टेन मिनट्स एवरी डे इवन इफ यू डोंट नो हाउ टू मेडिटेट जस्ट गो एंड सिट इन अ हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी रूम एवरी डे फॉर टेन मिनट्स एंड वुड बी वेरी नाइस इफ यू टेक योर चिल्ड्रन ऑल्सो टू सिट देयर फॉर टेन मिनट्स बोलो आओ बैठो बस कुछ नहीं करो दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू लिसन टू द ज्ञान बच्चे डोंट फोर्स दैम टू लिसन टू द ज्ञान दे डोंट नो हाउ टू मेडिटेट नो प्रॉब्लम एट ऑल जिससे हम जाएंगे बैठेंगे और आएंगे दैट्स ऑल जैसे हम यहाँ आए सो द फर्स्ट थिंग वी ऑल फेल्ट वर्स्ट कितनी अच्छी हवा है बिकॉज द हवा इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द सिटी तो यहाँ आते ही वी गॉट द हवा ना हमें कुछ करने की जरूरत थोड़ी थी उसके लिए द हवा इज देयर वी आर गेटिंग दैट फ्रेश एयर व्हेन वी गो बैक टू आवर सिटीज वी विल गेट दैट सेम एयर सो सिमिलरली द वाइब्रेशन इज देयर इन द मेडिटेशन रूम जस्ट गो विद योर चिल्ड्रन एंड सिट फॉर फाइव टेन मिनट्स डू नथिंग वी हैव टू डू नथिंग टू ऑब्जॉर्ब वाइब्रेशन इफ एवरी डे वी स्टार्ट ऑब्जॉर्बिंग हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी वाइब्रेशन तो जो अभी तक आए हैं हम यहाँ तो फिर क्या होगा यहाँ रहेगा डू नॉट एक्सपेक्ट एनी काइंड ऑफ मेरिकल कि आज आप यहाँ हैं और जीवन भर आप अपने आप यहाँ रहने वाले हैं सच मेरिकल्स डोंट हैपन बिकॉज कल से हमने वहाँ जाना है जो फ्रीक्वेंसी यहाँ है तो थोड़े दिन में ही या कई बार तो सिर्फ आबू रोड के स्टेशन तक पहुँचते ही and you go there and you hear an announcement okay your train is late by 6 hours and we have all kinds of thoughts so we take a lot of care so one is to make the maximum use of the vibration of the center in the times of all technology we say oh i watch the program on tv i listen to the murli on tv i get all the gyan on my whatsapp it's not the gyan it's the vibration which we want to absorb it's a center in which there is a belief system peace is natural cooperation is natural seva is natural we are going to live in a belief system which says anger is natural competition is natural jealousy is natural to wo hamara file trigger ho jata hai wahan pe fir se isiliye hum roz center jate hain every day aur kya karna chahiye subah subah din ki shuruaat beginning the morning with no kalyug news first thing in the morning information vibration third very important factor which influences our frequency is our food and what we drink jaisa an waisa man mante hain mante hain jaisa pani waisi वाणी मानते हैं अगर मानते हैं तो फिर कहीं भी रुक के कैसे खाते हैं और पीते हैं कैसे खाते हैं और पीते हैं 
जिसके हाथ का आप खाएंगे ना उसकी वाइब्रेशन उस खाने में होती है जैसी मेरी फ्रीक्वेंसी माय वाइब्रेशन सो विल बी द वाइब्रेशन ऑफ द फूड दैट आई विल कुक एंड एज विल बी द वाइब्रेशन ऑफ द फूड एंड दैट वाइब्रेशन विल बी कंज्यूम्ड बाय दोज हु विल ईट द फूड This is a very simple way of influencing people's energies. If you want to change the sanskar of people in your house, simplest way is first create that sanskar in yourself, second cook for them. And send them that sanskar through your food and water. You can create miracles. And that's why itna mahatva hai of prasad and amrit. Kitna mahatva hum kaise lete hain usko? कोई कहीं जाता है हम कहते हैं हमारे लिए प्रसाद लेकर आना वहाँ से तो प्रसाद इज़ नॉट अबाउट दैट लड्डू और दैट पेड़ा इट इज़ अबाउट वो जगह की वाइब्रेशन लेकर आना आप शिरडी जा रहे हो आप मेरे लिए प्रसाद लेकर आना आप वैष्णो देवी जा रहे हो आप मेरे लिए प्रसाद लेकर आना आप तिरुपति जा रहे हो आप मेरे लिए प्रसाद लेकर आना मतलब क्या लेकर आना उस जगह की वाइब्रेशन लेकर आना बिकॉज आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू गो टू द प्लेस यू गॉन देयर गेट मी द एनर्जी ऑफ दैट प्लेस But why can we not create that energy every day in every meal? कर सकते हैं वॉट वुड बी द वाइब्रेशन ऑफ अ फूड आइटम वेर समबडी वॉज इन कैप्टिविटी फॉर वन मंथ नोइंग दैट दे वर गोइंग टू बी किल्ड वॉट विल बी द एनर्जी ऑफ दैट फूड कैन यू विजुअलाइज समबडी ट्रैप्ड in all kinds of conditions over there now what we see in the videos and they know that they are going to be killed and they are seeing so many things being killed in front of them what's the energy what's the thought process one is fear second anxiety third hatred hurt helplessness is that helplessness now thode din ke baad it comes on my plate and i say proteins and i consume it thinking that it's good for me it's healthy think about it again i have enough of my anger my anxiety and my fear to finish i cannot afford to consume more jaisa an waisa man means if my an my food is satvik it will give me a satvik mind but if my food is with all these energies it will influence my mind please do it as an experiment just for 3 months just for 3 months have satvik food and you will see a change in yourself a lot of us are experiencing an emotion of fear unnecessarily bahut log bolte hain mujhe dar lagta hai kyun dar lagta hai pata nahi bas mujhe dar lagta hai ये डर और ये हेल्पलेसनेस ना ऐसी चीज़ों से आ रहा है सो जस्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट हाई एनर्जी सात्विक फूड फॉर थ्री मंथ्स सेकंड वन इज वेजिटेरियन सेकंड स्टेट ऑफ माइंड वाइल कुकिंग द फूड मेनी ऑफ अस टुडे डोंट हैव टाइम टू कुक आर फूड दैट इज़ अ वेरी बिग रीजन व्हाट इज इफेक्टिंग आर इमोशनल हेल्थ एंड आर चिल्ड्रंस इमोशनल हेल्थ most of us have grown up eating food cooked by our mothers three times a day what are the children getting today what are the children getting today and then we blame them we blaming them it's not about food we say ha khana khaya na we call up from office khana khaya khana ka khana khaya we are very happy lekin khane ke sath kya kha liya what will be the vibration of somebody cooking for profit the cooking for profit order kar lo wahan se so what's the vibration i'm cooking so that you eat i earn when we eat too much of food which is being cooked for profit money becomes our most important thing in life पैसे पैसे लॉट ऑफ पीपल से ये आजकल हम क्यों इतना पैसे 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 के पीछे जाते हैं क्योंकि हम पैसे के लिए बना हुआ खाना खा रहे हैं आपके और मेरे ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स बाहर खाना नहीं खाते थे 
डू यू नो दैट वो कहते थे माई ग्रैंड फादर आई रिमेंबर आई यूज टू से चलो ना बाहर खाना खाने चलते यूज टू लुक एट मीन्स इज ये बाहर खाना खाने कैसे कोई जा सकता है इट वॉज सच एन एलियन कॉन्सेप्ट एंड आज के बच्चे कहते हैं ओ हो आज घर पे खाना खाना है क्या दिस इज वाई वी आर चेंजिंग दिस इज वाई वी आर चेंजिंग सो द मोर वी आर ईटिंग फूड विच हैज बीन कुकड फॉर प्रॉफिट द मोर मनी इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट देन माई रिलेशनशिप्स एंड पहले मनी वॉज सेकेंडरी रिश्ते ऊपर फॉर अ चाइल्ड पेरेंट ऊपर ब्रदर ऊपर पैसे नीचे लेकिन आज पैसे ऊपर पैसे ऊपर देखा ना पिछले वीक में वीडियो में क्या क्या आया था न्यूज बहुत सारी बातें आती है पैसे पैसे विथ सो मच मनी ऑल्सो पेरेंट्स नीचे पैसे ऊपर वाई सो वी हैव टू टेक लॉट ऑफ केयर इमोशनल हेल्थ इज गोइंग टू कम फ्रॉम दीज लिटिल लिटिल लाइफ स्टाइल चेंजेस और फिर भी अगर बाहर खाना पड़ गया स्पेंड थर्टी सेकेंड्स बिफोर ईटिंग टू चेंज द वाइब्रेशन ऑफ द फूड At least we can do that. वो कर सकते हैं हम कर सकते हैं क्या करेंगे खाना आएगा हमारे सामने वट शुड वी डू खाना एंड पानी या वी वर ऑल टॉट दैट वे नेवर वी स्टार्ट ईटिंग वॉट्स द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी शुड डू वी शुड प्रे वी शुड थैंक गॉड बाई डूइंग दैट वट हैव वी जस्ट डन वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ प्योरिटी एंड पावर एंड द सुप्रीम पावर एंड दैट्स एनर्जाइजिंग आर फूड today instead of connecting with him and eating we are connecting with tv and eating if i connect with tv and eat what is the vibration that is going to go in the food so we are eating with television the kids are eating with video games and cartoon on the ipad and if we are going to watch violence and all those other things while eating and that's why we are taught ki dining table pe kabhi problem discuss nahi karna ghar ke because if we are talking about problems while eating please remember the food is absorbing that problem and once the food has absorbed that problem the problem on my mind will increase so bring your plate here and that intention and energy which we wrote yesterday i am a divine soul I accept everyone as they are. I am his angel. My physical health is perfect. 30 seconds there it goes. Purify and energize everything you eat and drink. Make it divine and then consume it. Energy field will stay white. What is the vibration of glass of water? can you visualize your water tank on the terrace of your house what is the vibration that it's absorbing surrounding what is there in the surrounding all those emotions and we will just the glass of water will come we'll say ha glass saaf hai pani saaf hai pilo glass saaf hai pani saaf hai energy saaf hai aur nahi saaf hai to saaf karne ke baad pilo within 5 days you can create a habit of pausing for 30 seconds before you eat or drink anything hold a glass of water chalo samne le kar aao abhi your glass of water hold it and usme wo thought dalo of that sanskar which you are going to change i am a peaceful soul i accept everyone as they are I am a powerful soul. I can do everything that I choose to do. I love and respect everybody. God's powers, purity and blessings are filled in this glass of water. Ye pani pani nahi hai. Ye amrit hai. My body, physical health perfect. 30 seconds. Drink. You've shifted the energy. so that water had come with stress anger and all that change the vibration can we do this every time we drink water can we do this every time we drink water when you walk up to the coffee machine in your organization please remember 
that cup of tea and coffee has the, absor has the vibrations of the office in it. Don't drink it without purifying it. You are going to be absorbing the vibrations of a lot of minds, a lot of things that are happening in that office. So, Jaisa An, Vaisa Man, Jaisa Pani, Vaisi Vani has a very powerful effect. The reason for coming to Abu and not doing the same retreat in your organization is also because you're going to get sattvic food and water here. You have no idea what all is working on you in the last two days. These are all these little, little, little factors which is very simple to create a pure and powerful mind. But we can do that after going back from here every day. But we will purify sattvic food and water. Aisa nahi hai ki hum kuch bhi khayenge, kuch bhi peyenge aur bolenge, I am a pure powerful being. Yeh dhyan rakhna hai. Yeh dhyan rakhna hai. Choti choti cheezon ke liye, don't deplete your strength. Don't. It's needed for lot of bigger things. Times are going to be where people will go like this. We have to go like this. So from tomorrow, the program will not end. Actually, from tomorrow, the program will begin. We are going to go back as angels. Every morning, if you only create this one thought, I am God's angel. Not I am an IT professional for whom stress is natural and depression and divorce is natural. No. I am an angel for whom purity, peace and love is natural. I am an angel who gives everyone to Sukha dega, khushi dega. Create that as your first thought and watch your destiny become like that the whole day. So going back as? Going back as angels. Morning midhyan, just before going to sleep, last thoughts and every time we are going to eat or drink something, 30 second pause. 30 seconds. If ye chuti chuti cheezo ka dhyan rakh liya, so the white circle, the white circle will remain white and only get whiter and whiter. Frequency will go on rising. So be going back as angels tomorrow? Everyone? Sure? Ready? Do not reflect, do not absorb, only transform and have compassion for everyone around you. <coughs> compassion and empathy for sanskars of people. That becomes our protection and we are able to accept them as they are. We are going back to create, to create Satyuk. Start having similar programs in your organization also. This is Seva that whatever I have got, I will share with everybody and very soon create a very beautiful world. Let's sit two minutes in silence again and look at that Satyugi Divine Soul, the angel back at work. I am a divine angel, my energy field white. Look at a white circle around you. My every thought, every feeling, pure. I understand each soul. They've been on a long journey. I understand them. I accept them as they are. I do not think or speak about their sanskar. Look at all the people 
we are going to work with from tomorrow. Different, different souls, different sanskars. I am with them, working with them, living with them. But my energy field is white. I behave my way. I think my way. I influence them with my purity. I am a Satyogi soul. Bring before you any soul with whom the karmic account is a little not the way you would want it to be. Look at them and tell them it was a past karmic account. It's over today. From today, I radiate only love and blessings to you. A new karmic account from today. I am the creator of my destiny. To watch Peace of Mind channel videos on YouTube, subscribe us on youtube.com slash TV Peace of Mind. Just a click for a peaceful life.